Hello lovelies! The holiday season is finally here and I for one have never been more ready to get my Jingle Bell rock on. I have to say this has been a bit of a tough year and we are long overdue for some holiday cheer which in my house all starts with some baking. So all month long I'm going to be sharing some of my very favorite holiday treats with you guys starting today with what I am calling the ultimate best ever chocolate chip cookies. Now these cookies are actually a bit of a copycat version of Panera's kitchen sink cookies. And if you're not familiar with the expression, basically it's because you can add everything to them except the kitchen sink. That's why they call them kitchen sink cookies. Now these are gonna be loaded with things like pretzels, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and toffee, but the sky is really the limit. You could add nuts here, peanut butter chips, butterscotch chips, caramel chips, or even salty, crunchy potato chips to these cookies, and they would still be so super good. So once you've seen my version, totally add in whatever you like. So in my bowl, I have got some all-purpose flour, and to that I'm going to be adding some baking powder as well as a little bit of salt. I'm just going to use my whisk to get those nicely combined, and then I can set my dry ingredients aside while I get to work on the rest of my ingredients, starting with some room temperature butter. So I've got one cup of butter here that is nice and softened, and to that I'm going to be adding some brown sugar and some white sugar. I love using a combination of both in my recipe because I really think it gives you the best texture in your cookies. You can really use one or the other if you want to, but using both is going to make sure they are an absolute success. Basically, I'm just going to be using my hand mixer here to blend this all up until it's nice and light and fluffy. Next, I've got an egg headed in here. I always like cracking my egg into a small bowl before adding it into my larger bowl. That's because if I get a shell in this bowl, it's no problem. It's a lot easier to get it out of this than it is my actual dough mixture. I'm just going to get my egg into my mixture as well as a nice splash of vanilla extract, which really just helps to enhance all of the incredible flavors in these cookies. I'll just get back in here with my hand mixer and give it another good blend. Once that's all totally blended, I'll go ahead and add my dry ingredients to my wet ingredients and mix that up until I've formed a really nice dough. Once you've got your dough made, this is where the real magic happens. So in this recipe, I am really going for it in terms of add-ins, starting with some pretzels. Now stay with me guys, if you are totally weirded out by the idea of pretzels in your cookies, these will make you an absolute believer. I've just taken some nice salty pretzel twists and given them a quick chop with a knife, and I'm going to get those into my bowl, along with some dark chocolate chunks. I've got some milk chocolate chips headed in here. And finally, I'm also going to be adding some toffee bits to this. Um, basically, once you've got your mix-ins in, you're just going to use a spatula to sort of fold them in until they're really well combined and evenly distributed. Now all that's left to do is to shape my cookies and I recommend using your hands for this job. I like creating sort of small discs of dough um, and making sure of course that you've got tons of those great mix-ins in each. And then I'll arrange my cookies on a parchment lined baking sheet and then there you go. These are ready to hit the oven at 350 degrees for between 14 and 16 minutes or until they're nice and golden. Oh my goodness, guys, look at these giant, gorgeous cookies. They smell incredible, they look incredible. I have a strong suspicion they're going to taste incredible. Now, just before we get these served up, I wanted to finish them off with just a sprinkle of flaked sea salt. Now, you guys probably know by now this is one of my favorite ingredients for baking. That little bit of salt really helps to offset the sweetness in cookies like this and just takes them way over the top. There is so much to love about these. You've got melt in your mouth chocolate, crunchy, salty pretzels, those super sweet toffee bits, and of course, nice, soft, chewy cookies. Who would not love these for Christmas, or let's be honest, any other holiday? And honestly, guys, the hardest part is waiting five minutes for them to cool so that you can dig in. 
But trust me, your patience will be rewarded because what you end up with is the most incredibly tender, crispy, chewy, chocolatey, salty, sweet cookie you have ever eaten in your life. So game changing. In fact, they are so good that I'm going to be giving these away as Christmas gifts this year because of course we are all on a budget and homemade delicious Christmas gifts are always welcome. I hope you love them as much as I do and that you will give them a try for yourselves. If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo because you know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. The full recipe is linked in the description box below so you can find all the details there. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more holiday deliciousness where this came from.